Fala, galera da Edge Fight, eu sou o Neri Fung, meu entrevistado de hoje é Tom Asnall. How, how are you doing, Tom? I'm doing very well, thank you. Just arrived to London today on the fight week, so I'm very, uh, very excited to be here. Awesome. So, um, it's been almost a year since your last fight. Um, since then, you had surgery, recovery, um, back to practice, training camp, and now you're a few days from, from getting back on the octagon. How do you deal with all that? Uh, it wasn't easy. It definitely wasn't easy. Like uh, being injured as a professional athlete is a very tough thing mentally and physically to deal with, uh, especially an uh, athlete that's active like myself. Like I'm, I was fighting very regular and then I had to go to nothing, no training, no fights, books, nothing. It was very difficult for me, but uh, all recovered. My body's healthy. My mind is really healthy and I'm very excited to, to go on Saturday night. What was the hardest part of this time off? Uh, not being able to walk. That was the toughest part for me. I was in a lot of pain just after surgery and uh, not being able to at least walk and do like day-to-day -day things was, uh, was difficult. Not being able to train was tough, obviously, but not being able to walk was, I think, the toughest part for me. What about mentally? Uh, it's, of course, you were on a great streak. You were already being talked about being uh, next to, close to the, the title shot. Um, mentally for you, how, how was it to, to deal with it? It was very tough, to be honest. Uh, I definitely had some like bad days there, especially at the beginning. Like especially the first few weeks after it happened, I definitely had a few bad days. But that's all in the past now. Like that's that's happened nearly a year ago now, and I'm ready to move forward with uh, with my career and and with my life really. Awesome. Um, what about this this matchup against Martin Situbure? And um, what do you think about him, uh, of him as an opponent? I think he's good. I think he's very durable. He's got a lot of experience. He he's dangerous everywhere. He knows exactly what he's doing in all positions. He's he's seen everything, done everything before. But ultimately, he's never fought me before, and I bring a different style than than all of his other opponents. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it matches up on Saturday night. How do you see this fight going on? Um, on striking department or maybe a couple of grappling? How do you see this, this turning out? I'm absolutely prepared for anything. I prepared a long time. I prepared for a quick fight. I prepared for a, a, a short fight, a long fight. It doesn't really matter to me. Like if I need to, I'll do five, five minute rounds. No problem. Or I'll, I'll be prepared to win in 30 seconds if I can. Like if I, if I can take the early finish, I'll take the early finish every time. But if not, I'm happy to do five rounds. No problem. And speaking about five rounds and main main events on UFC London, um, is it hard for for come back after a year off and being scheduled to fight five rounds? Uh, I mean, training for five rounds is way different than training for three rounds, to be honest with you. But uh, my last three fights have been five rounders, so I, I know exactly now how to prepare for five. Um, I was expecting to be a main event if the UFC comes to London as well because I knew that Leon Edwards wasn't available. So, uh, realistically, who else are they going to get from the UK apart from uh, me or Leon at this stage? So, um, yeah, I mean, f five rounders are definitely, definitely not easy. Uh, I don't want to fight for five rounds if I don't need to. If I can finish it earlier, I'll definitely finish it earlier. But uh, I'm definitely prepared for five as well. Great. Uh, speaking about uh, fighting in front of your countrymen, uh, again, third time in a row, main events in England. Um, what does it mean to you to, to fight in, in your home country? It's very important to me. Uh, to be honest, I, I wasn't really ever too bothered about fighting in the UK, but after the last one, I feel like I really, the, the fans really deserve for me to go and do a good performance in front of them. Like, I don't want to. I felt like I let everybody down last time and I disappointed a lot of people with the way that the injury went and the fight went. And I don't want to leave it like that. Like, I want to, I want to go back and show everybody, like, this is what I really am all about, not, not what happened last time. You are on top five on the rankings. Um, where do you think a win on Saturday puts you again on the title race? To be honest, it's not something that I'm really thinking about just yet. Like, I just care about winning this fight and that's it. Like, I'm not thinking about rankings. I'm not thinking about other opponents or anything like that. Like, I want to beat Tibora. 
and I'm going to beat Tibora, and that's that's all that matters to me right now. Where do you think he, he brings most uh, danger if in, for you on Saturday? Where, where do you think he's best at? Mm, everywhere, really. Like, I think he's good everywhere. I think that the, the biggest danger with Tibora is the fact that he is very, very mentally strong. He is not somebody that's just going to fall over. He's not some heavyweight that's going to try and win and then get tired and, and give up. Like, he's not that kind of guy. He's not that kind of character. And, and, and I know that. I know that he's he can fight long fights. He can fight short fights. He can do everything everywhere. So I've got to be 100% focused for the full 25 minutes or he can beat me. I know you already uh, said that you're focused on Tsubura, but um, during this time off, Uh, a lot of things help ha happened in the heavyweight division. Um, Francis Ngannou's departure, um, John Jones winning the belt against Tiru Gan. Were you by the way, were you surprised by the the way John Jones came and, and won the belt against Gannon? Uh, I wasn't surprised so much at John Jones. I don't think we we all knew that John Jones was like you know, amazing and stuff like that. I was more surprised at Cyril Gann's performance. For me, it looked like something maybe was off, like he didn't look himself. I've watched a lot of Cyril Gann's fights over the years. Um, and I think that he's very, very good everywhere. And for whatever reason, on that night, he didn't look great. Maybe it's just that John Jones was that good. Who knows? Like, I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure Cyril Gann and his team know that. But for me, on the outside, it looked like Cyril Gann didn't do his best performance on that night. Um. There's a lot of talk about Jones maybe retiring after defending the belt against Steve Miocic. Um, do you think he's going to retire or keep defending the belt? And would you like to, to him to keep uh, as a champion so you could face him since he's um, viewed by most people like uh, one of the GOATs? I don't know if he's going to retire because I've never met John. I don't know him personally or anything like that. But uh, what I do know is that I definitely want to fight him if I can. Like, I want my, like, my, the goal of my fights, my future fights, is obviously to win. That's my main goal. And to provide for my family and all, all that kind of stuff. Like, that's really important to me. But also, what's important to me is that I want to excite John Jones. Like, I want to make John Jones think, oh, this, I need to stick around and fight this guy. I don't want to go off just yet because. I've got to fight this guy and, and I want that to be me. Like, I want to excite him with my performances. So, that's what I'm looking to do as well. Awesome. Um, by the way, who do you think is going to win? Jones or Miocic? I don't know. Like, heavyweight MMA, you just never know. I think that Miocic now has had like two years off or something close to that and he's getting older. Uh, so, I think that would be like a big factor in the fight. So, I think that John Jones would take the edge, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised either way, really. Awesome. Look, Tom, thank you very much for your time. Um, great fight for you on Saturday. Great comeback. And if you could leave a message for the Brazilian fans who are going to watch this video, what they can expect from you on Saturday, please. Uh... Yeah, you can just expect a, an exciting fight. You can expect a heavyweight fight that's not like a usual heavyweight fight. You know, I'm a dynamic heavyweight. I'm fast. Uh, I do attacks from all different positions. And you can be expecting a finish from anywhere. There's no point in my fight where I can't finish. I can finish from every single position, every angle, and just be ready for excitement.